In this video, I want to show you how to graph and use the linings function of Excel. Here I have some arbitrary values for 1 over t, which is our x-axis, and some random values for natural log of k, which is our y-axis. To begin, select all the values, click Insert. Click on this scatter plot icon and select scatter plot. So here's our initial scatter plot. We want to do a linear regression analysis on this graph. So the first thing we need to find is the best fit lines. In order to find the line, select chart elements. Next to trend line, select linear. So now the graph is showing the best fit line. We also want to know the linear equation of that line and the R square value to determine how correlated the X and Y values are. So click on more options. Towards the very bottom, check the box for display equation on chart. So that's our linear equation and display R square value on chart. So now we can move this down to a more empty space so it's not blocked by the best fit line. So we can see that this is a linear equation of the line with a slope of 47,539 and the y-intercept is also shown and the r-square value is about 0.8539 which is pretty good very close to 1 which shows that those three values are rather correlated so the next thing we need to find is the linest values so I'll select a random 2 by 3 area and click equal sign and type linest select linest so the first set of data we need to select is the, the known y's so the y values in this case are natural log of k so I will select these three values comma no axis so the x-axis is 1 over t so I will select those three data comma and I'll select true comma and double click on true so the next thing you should do is click Control, Shift, and Enter at the same time. So the easiest way to do this is click Control first, then Shift, and hit Enter. So Excel will return with six lines values. This one is the slope, which is congruent with the one shown in the linear equation. This one is the y-intercept, which is the, the same as the one shown in the linear equation. This one is the r-square value, which matches the one shown on the graph. This one is the uncertainty in slope. And this one is the uncertainty in y-intercept. And this very last one is the standard error in Y.